This is Romans 12 and 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men, if it be possible. As much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who people are going to call God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who people are going to call Jesus. Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. And devil honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. And Lord will this lesson be edifying to the elect. Going in today on vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. It's not up to us to get, get back, you know, in this here and the now. You know, right now we're, we're as uh, scripture speaks of it, as us being as fishers, fishermen of, of men, you know, but then down the line, meaning, you know, once it's all said and done, he said he's going to turn us into hunters. So it's a time and place for everything. As the scripture speak of, it speak on, you know, a time to, let me see if I can get it, matter of fact. This is Ecclesiastes 3, and I'm going to start at 1. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Excuse me, a time to kill and a time to heal. Time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rin and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in wherein he laboreth? So it's a time for everything, you know. And right now it's the time for us, you know, to be uh, as fishermen, you know. I'm going to bring it out, Lord will. You know, we're, we're, we're not tough guys in this. And we got to constantly remind ourselves because we see it. And you know, we know how things are supposed to be. That's what infuriates us even more so. You know, you see how everything is contrary to what the scripture speaks of. And then people claim to be believers of the Bible. But everywhere we look, you, we're dealing with just people who don't want to be right. It's not that they even right because we're not right. You know, we go off. We F up, man. We, you know, fall. We sin. But they don't even want to. They don't even have a desire to do what's right. Meaning they'll, they'll just give into any and everything. And then they, how they are towards people. People are so evil and mean to one another. So hey, here in the now, man, we got to do our best. That don't mean we walking on on a uh, water, man. We we are our men, you know, and we we have <clears throat> we are dealing with things just like everyone else. So, we, we, you know, we get angry and it's OK. You know, I'm going to bring that out, Lord Will. It's OK to be angry, man. So, hey, we just have to uh, really take the the low in this in this a uh, Babylon place that we're that we're a part of. You know, we're the weak, you know, we're the meek. It says scripture say uh, the meek shall inherit the earth. So we have to be meek in this. And that's that's a hard one to 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 swallow. That's a hard one to bite. When you especially when you know that you could destroy somebody and you know you could do some damage to them, you know? 
in the in the physical. Again, we're not tough guys, man, but you looking at a lot of these peons, and even if they are, you know, huge and all that, I, I believe the rage as it within us, man. If that thing is let loose, I believe that's why he just holding us back for right now. He like them them, them little uh, what they call them Tasmanian devils. Not devils, but you know what I mean. Like that, like the actual animal. Or the Wolverine. You know, the Wolverines, they some harsh, you know, they some of them small, but they pack a punch, man. They'll come up against anything. A bear, they don't give a damn. And everything pretty much a back down or leave it alone because, you know, once it once it goes off, it's it's a wrap. But hey, our vengeance. I brought out brought out that in the beginning. Vengeance is is mine, said Yahweh. It's not it's not ours, man. The Lord is is is, is this is His show, man. We just we plan our roles and we just gotta sit back and wait until He, you know, He give us the go. But when He does, hey, Lord, will we those men? Hey, He give us that power, man. We gonna we gonna have that have that that final, you know that. That release that that was within us. It remind me of that that movie, uh, the Nutty Professor. He said when he, but he was talking about the sex. He's like, ooh, you know, he got it all bottled up, and when he let it go, boom, you know, that's how we are. We just got it all. It's just it, it, the anticipation, the 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 vengeance, man. But we gotta we gotta balance it out, you know, make sure it's not because. <clears throat> fuck around and have an aneurysm or something or you know a heart attack or something just stroke man getting so fucking upset in this place i find myself i gotta you know breathe we gotta literally take time to just breathe in this place you get so so frustrated you know and then you end up taking out on those that, you know, that around you, that love you, whether it's the brothers, your, your old lady, your, your woman, you know, your, your children, your seeds. Just a passerby or they ain't do nothing. You just, you raw. Hell, the Barack, he, used to, he would bring it out. He said, hey, a, a lot of that uh, frustration is from high blood pressure. And that's a that's a fact. That's why we got to watch our health as well, you know. We got to watch what we consume, that salt, you know, the intake of that salt. We got to eat more vegetables and fruits. All that helps, you know, because what's that saying? We are what we eat. So, you know, we wonder why we uh, 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 time and tick bomb, uh, 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 time and tick bomb ready to just explode. You know, a lot of times it could be, you know, them, them, what we eating, damn parasites going crazy up in us. So, you know, it may take us to do a cleanse, a fast, you know, eat better, eat healthier. It helps, you know, it helps relax and exercise. Get out there and, you know, get get a little, get a sweat in, you know. But I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures and Lord, will this lesson be at a fine to the elect? This is Romans. Fuck. So that Romans chapter 12 and verse, I'm going to read it again, 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather, matter of fact, Salaki, I'm going to start back at, at uh, 17. Recompense no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men, if it be possible. As much lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord, Yahweh. He's going to be the one that's going to get the give back. Not us. Not not at the, you know, at the moment in time. Now, you know, you can send up them prayers, you know, them curses on these people, man. Because <coughs> that's what's a lot of times needed. You know, to leave it in the hands of Yahweh, he can do more damage than what we can. He can wound them. You know, eternally, you know, meaning eternally them while they hear it here in the now, whether it take them out completely or he could do something that's just like it, it let them know, like you fucked with the wrong one. He said that the scripture talk about, you know, messing with the apple of his eye, messing with his little ones. 
it'd be better than a, that a millstone was uh, wrapped around your neck and tossed into the to the ocean. Then you'd have messed with one of his little ones. And Lord will, we are those his little ones. We is his beloveds. All right. So uh, let me get this next one. This is Zephaniah 3. That's Zephaniah. Yep. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Yahweh, unto the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. You see, it's talking about him. It ain't us. He's, he's not saying, he said, hey, you chill the you just chill out. Let me get mine. Let me let me let my wrath out. He's so angry, man. You just say angry with the uh <clears throat> angry with the wicked every day. Because he's seeing everything that's going on. We just seeing the portions of the things that's going on in the world. He's seeing it all. Eyes ten thousand times brighter than the sun. He's able to see all the evil wickedness that's going on in this world, all the blood drinking, all the all the uh uh, molestation, all the uh, all the kidnapping and 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 robbery and and rape and and murder that's being done to to people young old, all that he's seeing everything. He's seeing how how uh, conniving people are. He's seeing how people are just eating however they want to eat, what they want to eat. He's seeing everybody worshiping other gods. That's one of his 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 number ones. He hate. How people are treating one another, how especially, you know, those uh, that's in even in the household of faith. Because what it say, judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh It's going to start in house first. So it's things that's going on in house that ain't right. So those are the things that's going to be corrected. That And he's seeing all that, too. So that's why we got to make sure that we are doing what? Examining ourselves, checking ourselves like, man, am I right? Am I, you know, am I, am I? going off you know my you know my writing my my mind my thoughts checking those so it says that i may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy he's angry man so we gotta we got a vendetta we got a uh you got that feeling of get back. So just imagine how he feels. How you done kill my son. And he's, he's seeing all this go down. How you, how people are backbiting and talking bad about the heavenly father, how they got a, a portrayed as a so-called white man. As, you know, all, all this is going through his head. He's seeing all this. It says, for then will I turn the people to a pure language, Salaki. That was it for that one. So I'm going to jump to 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. And that's what we have to remind ourselves to do. Like, man, this is, hey, I'm going to leave this into Yahweh Shah's hand. Let him handle it. How he's going to get it done, that's, Hey, that, he said he's going to handle it. He's going to take care of it. Now, we do our part. <laughs> We're not just sitting around, just, you know, doing nothing. You might need, you know, some some dividends. Hey, he's he not going to you say uh, you don't work, you don't eat. So it's some things that we got to do. Uh, we got to play our part. But, hey, he's, he's the one that's going to bless us, though. He's going to be the one that's going to make a way was seen sometime out of no way. You're like, damn, I don't know how how that transpired. I don't know. I was riding on E and he ended up blessing me this way, this somehow, some way. So hey, we just gotta really cast all our cares upon your Habashim Shah. I'm gonna read it in the NLT. It says, Give all your worries and cares to the most high, for he cares about you. You know, and that's reassuring to hear that. That's why the, these scriptures are Considered a comforter, 
they comfort us, the, the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, man, it, it gives us some type of uh, hope, some type of peace, that peace that we need because you can't get it in the world. The world is, is evil, man, as soon as you, sometimes even in your own house, but hopefully not. Hopefully you're able to get some peace within your own home. But then when you open that door and step out, it's, it's something going to come at you. You know, whether it be by the phone, the internet, your email, your G, you know, you get emails with some bullshit. You get a phone call with some bullshit. You get mail with some bullshit. And then you walk out into the world and you meet people with some bullshit. And you're like, damn, you just constantly coming up against opposition. And that's, you know, that's just to make us, for one, to hate this place even more, not to get comfort because we know what, this is not our rest. But then, too, you know, that that's part of our, our test. That's like building us up. It's like, a, you know, you add more weight to 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 the bench, getting us stronger or to the curling bar or to the squat. Or doing more push ups or more pull ups. More, more, you know, squats, more, more uh, deadlifts, whatever, whatever it, it just adding. And until we get out of here. And it's all ultimately how I see it is, is preparing us for the number one thing is the MOTB is to get us our mental, you know, squared away where we could be able to withstand that that evil day. So it says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walked about seeking whom he may devour. And that's for sure. That's why we cast all our cares on him. Because, hey, it's it's. A lot more than it, it would be more than we can handle if, if, you know, we take on everything. If we try to take it on with, for, for ourselves. That's why he say, cast it on. Give it to him. Let him handle that, man. He said he's not going to give us more than we can handle. So what we what, he, what we come up against, and, hey, we got what, is, what it takes to handle it, you know. But it's a lot of things that all that, man, we need to just let him. Yeah, you got it. You know, past that, like you go to a uh, to a bar, or you go to a dine out, and you going with somebody that you know that they got it. You know, you don't reach for the for the damn check. You let you 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 already know that they got it. You you already know. You know, you just hey, you just sit back, enjoy the meal or the drinks, and you pretty much know it's not like you taking advantage because they asked you out. They tell you know, so that's how we do we. Y'all about Shemel Shah, just, hey, they got this check. They they going to handle it. So I'm going to jump to this uh, Matthews 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And that's how we have to be. It says a hard road. Before them, that's the title of, in the blue letter. <laughs> it's a hard road before them. It's a hard road, man. It's not a thing that's going to be easy. It's some of the, the the daily tasks that we go through that's, that can be rough and it's true. Dealing with individuals, you know, just while we out and about, if at all possible, live peaceably with all men. That's that's a rough one, man. You be one to... to, to Headbutt these people, man. You want to give them one of them elbows straight to their temple, you know. But your hey, vengeance is your habash You, you want to do things that's just like you could you start. We can't go into the visualization of it because you start visualizing it, and before you know it, you'll do it. You grab somebody up and you know, hem them up, and it, it'd be all she wrote, or maybe you'll try to do that and end up, and end up getting hurt, you know. Again, we ain't the tough guys, you know, whatever training or whatever we might do. Hey, somebody always know more than what we know. It's always somebody out there tougher than than we are. So with all the anger and frustration, hey, somebody out there, hey, could whoop our ass. So I don't never put it past nobody. So I always think about that as well, you know. And hey, Yahaba Shmuel Shah may, you know, we get out of pocket here. he take the reins off of us and. Uh, the scripture said, don't take your Holy Spirit from you. That Holy Spirit uh, uh, moves from us, leave us. And we'll be up creek 
without a without a road to be like, damn, we stuck. You be up there trying to fight for your life. You think you about to get is get that person like you fighting for your life. Have you running? You know? So we gotta really, you know, be aware and, and constantly keep this in mind. Behold, I send you forth as sheep. We gotta remember we're sheep in this. We're not no wolves. Sheep a, a mild manner, man. They're not the, the going out around there just hunting people. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. We in the midst of wolves. And we gotta play it cool. It says, Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. <clears throat> Let me get this next one. This is Second Peter chapter three. Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to the promise to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. We looking forward to that. That's why we're not worried about this place, man. We're looking for a new heaven, a new earth, something better than this. So with all the pain and the anguish and the, and the disappointments that we see, we know, hey, this is not our rest. So we know it's more, you know, this is just, you know, we just. In, in motion to the next so it says verse 14 wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless so a hey, part of us uh is is being blameless is by being diligent man we just gotta constantly that that helps us to stay on track too just be diligent you know, constantly scriptures going through our heads, constantly thinking, oh, what's the next lesson? You know, that'll help, you know, all right, deviate our attention on the things that's so effed up here and the things that's that's right, that's in the scriptures. That's where our rest lies, man, because this is not it. Verse 15, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you I'm going to read it again and the account that the long suffering of our Lord he went through he suffered long man it says it's salvation so just as he went through and suffered long and received salvation the same is going to come for those that's of the elect we got to suffer here long with patience that's talking about being patient that's talking about suffering you know as we be as we're being patient we're gonna suffer let me get this next one this is uh <clears throat> excuse me that was second peter's three Let me get this last one. I think I, I think I quoted it, but I'm gonna try to. My stomach, boy. Uh. Okay, yeah, this is uh, cause it's all right to be angry. All right, it's okay. We, we, we not, we're not inhuman. We're, we're, you know, we had those type of emotions, but as the scripture says, Ephesians 4 and 26, be ye angry and sin not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So, you know, we're not supposed to just allow that anger to produce some type of sin, you know, some type of vengeance, some type of get back, mess around and put somebody to death. That's, that's, when, when we going off, you know, so we got to, you know, make sure that we are keep that, that, that vengeance and understand that it's your Habashim al It's not up to us. It's not, a, it's not for us to get to get back. Now we got to lead that to your Habashim al So Lord will, this is that to the elect until next time. Lord will. Shalom.